Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil 7. Uh, DLC, actually. You know, not a hero. That's the one I was looking for. In the last episode, we uh, went in to save one of our buddies, and he got brutally murdered right before our very eyes. Sad times all round, really, but uh, we got something out of it. We got a footer, so that's plus one to us, I suppose. Right, now, I believe we got three coins as well, which is most excellent. Uh, so let's steroids for max health seems like something that we could use and as we already have three coins why the devil not lovely give me that give me that give me that there we go give me that sweet sweet goodness yeah lovely mm -mm -mm. sweet steroids for our veins your max health has increased excellent we could certainly always use more health, if nothing else. Now, let's head on through door number two. So, we need some kind of key to get through that other one, which is a little bit awkward. Ooh. Well, this place is a little bit fancy. A little bit dark and dingy. We do not like dark and dingy. No, sir. No, sir, we do not. No. Carl Crest, use your big burly man muscles to get through that door. Whew, must be a tough one. Hmm. Okay, I am not liking the look of this place, I can tell you. So we have this door here. Ooh. This is not a fun door. And we have this door, which we need a key for. Ooh. Actually, let's go run back and drop off our mission brief. We don't need that anymore. And it's just, you know, stinking up our inventory, which um, is no good. Nope. No good. Our inventory is too small and puny as it is. And we could really use some more handgun ammo. We really don't have a lot of it. Uh, let's get rid of you. And you. Um, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, that'd do, I guess. Okay. Well. Actually, let's organize this a little bit smarter, shall we? We'll have our two grenades together. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, if we go to the weapon wheel, yeah. flick up and down for our shotguns. And then. There we go. Up and down for our grenades. Excellent. I'm a fan. Chris, this is called optimizing our inventory. And believe me, buddy, it's probably not going to pay off because I'm still going to fumble the controls. I know it. You know it. We all know it. Okay. So, through door number two, we have poisonous ooze. Oof. Luckily, we have a high quality filter. Not an un... Barella branded filter, but a high quality one. Hmm. Well, better not tread on those. Jeez, I'm glad we have this filter. Or we'd probably already be mutating into something rather a lot like that. Now, this guy is fun. This guy is impervious to our bullets, which is not fantastic. But don't you worry about it. We will find something a little bit later on to deal with him. Come on, buddy. This way. Oh, no. Trying to overtake him on a corner was my first mistake. Alright, come on. There you go. Oh, God. Okay, he is giving us the hairy arsehole right now. Luckily, we have medical injectors. Alright, we're going to keep running. Because that is what we do as Chris. Apparently, we run from enemies. Uh, I hope we don't run into any more of those guys, but we probably will, let's be honest. Can't go through there. Now, oh, come on, give me some goods, give me some goods, give me some goods. I will take anything right about now. Uh, well, we'll take the antique coin, I suppose. It's not quite what I wanted, but sure. Hey, pal. Nice to meet your acquaintance, my friend. I'm Chris Redfield. Who the hell are you? 
This is not where we... Ah, hello. This is where we need to go. This is positive steps in the right direction. Oh, God. We really don't need to be... Ooh. Okay, it's a little bit dark in here. But that's okay. We ain't afraid of no darkness. We're only afraid of things that go bump in the night. Incendiary grenades. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. I like a little bit extra fire in my grenades. Uh, Anti-regen ammo. Ramrods. Very nice. I like the way it shows us picking up like a whole box of those. In actuality, we've got three. Good. I had a night vision device. Very nice. Sweet. We now have light amplification. Again, why we weren't given these things to start with, I don't know. But video game logic, yo. Right. Let's have a little look. Anti-regen ammo. Ramrods. These rapid-acting uh, mycotonic rounds, or ramrods for short, have been developed specifically for combat against fungus-based bioweapons. The bullets uh, excrete a toxin on impact, not only rapidly... Oh, that not only rapidly destroys fungal cell membranes, but also prevents regeneration of lost tissue. One shot will allow for normal methods of attack to gain effect thereafter. Yeah, that, that's a little bit misleading. Um, these ramrods on pretty much most normal enemies that are immune to bullets will kill them outright in one hit. So that's fun. Um, obviously on the bigger enemies they might take more than one. Night vision device. This device adds night vision functionality to the Umbrella HMD system. The device uses image intensification to help the user see better in low light environments. It allows the user to see light rays not visible to the naked eye, such as infrared beams. It certainly does. It certainly does. Let's swap out to the decent ammo. And it is G. Of course it is. Shotgun shells. Very nice. So unfortunately on... Um, I wouldn't say a lot of the enemies, but quite a few of the enemies, uh, I think, would be accurate. Our weapons are kind of useless, sadly. However, these do equal the playing field just a little bit. The only uh, downside to these, of course, is they are extremely rare. And I mean extremely rare. You do not get many of these at all. So. Okay. Well, let's open her up. Ooh, hello. And, of course, we do not have our knife equipped because reasons. I really wish the knife was a separate one. There we go. Handgun bullets. Lovely. Although it's not really a much hardship to just swap it out like that, I suppose. Okay, so deeper into hell we go. That is fine by me. This place certainly crawls. Actually, let's combine that so we have a whole magazine. Keep the round rods for now. Ooh. We're back out of the darkness. Apparently. This is still quite dark to me. But what the hell do I know? There we go. Uh, lift. <coughs> lift. There is no power. Well, <laughs> that's... Um, well, that's a little bit awkward now, isn't it? Can we actually get back up here? I hope so, because I guess... I guess our job wasn't quite done? Question mark? You wouldn't think I played this like six or seven weeks ago, would you? Ooh, what's this? That is not power. Um, game... I need a little bit more power in my elevator. Anybody know where the power is? I would be rather grateful. Oh, hell. That's 
awkward. So, I'm guessing there is a power switch above us which actually kind of rings some bells. But how do we climb back up there? Uh, I think we done goofed. Chris, you done goofed, buddy. I think. Seriously? Oh no, here we go. We did not done goof. I was going to say, I don't think this game is going to screw us over like that. I mean, never say never. You know, anything's possible in the world of video games. And uh, what was the combination? Actually, I think it was just simply them all up. Come on, Chris. Use those manly muscles of yours. There we go. Uh, heave. Ah, the strength of a thousand men. He'd be pretty damn effective, I would wager. No? Are they active? He'd be pretty effective at opening jam jars. There we go. Everybody needs a friend that can open jam jars. Ooh. Evening. Now these little bugs suck. And there's a lot of them. The best thing to use against these guys... Is a weapon? Oh dear. That we don't have. Yep. There is always more of these guys, Chris. They're as annoying as they come. Actually, I wonder. I wonder if the knife would be good, good against them. I'm going to say it probably would be. You don't want to use our decent ammo. Oh, okay. Let's try. Oh, we can't use the knife because we don't have it equipped. There we go. Uh, knife, please. There we go. You slimy little turd. If you could slide onto my blade, please. Okay, they're actually very hard to hit. Even with the knife. Oh, antique coin. Don't mind if I do. Yes, Chris's accuracy is a little bit subpar. Oh, medi injector. <laughs> yes, you were once so strong. You were once so intimidating. Say hello to my little friend. His name, Ramrod. Ooh. Does it hurt, buddy? I hope it hurts. I hope you are in indescribable pain. Because that would please me. More shotgun shells. Ooh. I remember these guys. Machine gun turrets. Who would have thunked it? These turrets are actually extremely effective. Remember that machine gun? I remember that machine gun. It was fun. Come on, my friend. Walk this way. There we go. Look at that. Uh oh. Uh, machine gun, turret, you're not you're not doing your job. You're not doing your job fast enough. And because of you, we now have mold spooge all over us. Which is not nice. Okay. Now if memory serves which it may or may not do. I am getting old after all. These um enemies are quite vulnerable to our normal bullets. At least, I'm fairly sure. Well, that music is very terrifying. Keeps making me think that there are enemies. Ooh. Hello, gentlemen. You know what, guys? I don't have time for your bullshit. I mean, honestly, who do you think you are? You know who the hell I am? I am Chris Redfield. And this is Thor. We're a pretty good team. Okay. You know, we could have saved some shots by coming this way, but it really doesn't matter like that. 
Thor has lots of bullets. Lots of shells, I should say. At least for now. The situation may change later. Okay. Fairly happy with that. Oh, look where we are. We are back here. With our invincible friend. Or so he thought. I'm not going to pay you any more attention than I think you deserve. Those guys are normal. Notice how they're not uh, trailing ooze. These guys are quite delicate. Pretty sure... I thought we could come down here. Am I getting confused? I'm probably getting confused. Yep, I guess I was. Onwards, Chris. Forever onwards. Hang on, ammo. Nice. Excuse me, pal. Can we not shut the door? Sorry. No room in the inn, my friend. Excuse me. Thank you. And there's always more. Thor says hi. Thor says die. Let's get out of here before we use all of our ammo. Which we kind of don't want to do at this point. Oh. Hello. Sit down. Buddy. Thank you. You just check these areas very thoroughly. Well, there's a ladder there. Surprised we can't pick the ladder up. There's many occasions in Resident Evil where a stepladder has come in handy. Hello, my friend. Hello, hello. Nice to see you. To see you. Nice. Sadly, we're now. Oh, God. Out of ramrods. Boom! Right in the kisser. Now, is there anything this way? Yeah, there is. But I think we need to go this way. Because I think we have some Brucey bonuses this way. Oh, I really, really wish. Eh, come on. Yeah, it's alright, buddy. I'm right with you. You know, you shouldn't really open your mouth at someone that's wielding a shotgun. Pro tip. Eh, hang on ammo. We'll take it. It's actually pretty nice. Lockpick and an antique coin. Yeah, there we go. I knew there was something worth coming down here for. Uh, now, where is our samurai's edge? There we go. Oh, God. Um, we have a lot of ammo. Oh, God. That was not good. Damn it, Chris. Punch. Chris, punch. Or not. You know, it's your choice, Chris. It's your ammo at the end of the day. Well, we certainly have some accuracy issues going on here, guys. Uh, reload, please. Ouch. Health. Thank you. This is going extremely poorly. And because of your insult, sir, you are dying. I don't care how much ammo you take. I'm taking you down. That was awful. And I have no one to blame except myself. Well, that was a shameful display of accuracy. Oh, hello. Notice how sometimes as well that the melee option doesn't work. Even though it says click to push, but he still fires his gun. Seriously, sir? Do you honestly think? Good lord. As you can see, it said click to punch, but Chris still fired his gun. It is not very accurate. For some reason, in my first playthrough, I didn't have any issues with that. And we're not going that way. There is way too many gun turrets that way. We are, however, getting out of here. And relax. What do we have left? Not much. That was a shameful display, Mr. Redfield. You should genuinely be ashamed of yourself there. 
I like the way I'm blaming him as well, when it was basically my incredibly poor accuracy and decisions that led to that. Okay, so how many coins have we got now? Only three. Okay, well, we'll use our three coins. Get some out of our inventory. We need our inventory slot for other useful items. Now, we have the hammer. We have Samurai's Edge. Hmm. We have a lot of grenades. Um... Hmm. Probably don't need to use the stun grenades yet. Let's have the knife ready to go. Game. No. Come on. Game. Come on. There we go. This is, it's so awkward to move your guns on the PC. There we go. And then you. Come on, little grenade. Up. It, there we go. You're getting it. You're getting it, Chris. Okay. Right. Anyway, guys, with that, I think we're almost out of time. So I'm going to save it here. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, until next time.